Why was Bill Hader afraid that Steven Root would eat him alive? Which beloved character was supposed to die in the pilot episode? And why did Hader's friends tell him that the series was way too crazy? Hi, I'm Dylan. Let's find out. Steven Root as Monroe Fuchs This guy has appeared in numerous TV shows and movies before Barry, including True Blood, Boardwalk Empire, and multiple Coen Brothers projects. And still, the role in this series became special to Steven Root. After all, he received his first Emmy nomination for playing Fuchs. And here's a fun fact. Due to Steven's decades-long career, his co-star Bill Hader was intimidated by him on the set of Barry. You have to be at the top of your game when you're with Steven or he'll eat you alive, Hader once said. And in the long run, Root made Hader a better actor. We'll get back to the title character later, but meanwhile, let's see how Steven is doing in his personal life. He's now happy with his second wife, actress Romy Rosemont. They work together in a few TV shows, such as Fringe and Masters of Sex. Besides this, you might have seen Rosemont in a number of series, including Grey's Anatomy, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, and Prison Break. And of course, she played the mother of one of the lead characters in Glee. Hopefully, we'll see more of Romy and Steven's fantastic acting duo in their future projects. Sarah Goldberg as Sally Reed Although she's the protagonist's love interest, this woman is far from being the most likable character in the series. Sally is superficial and hungry for fame, but that's what attracted Sarah Goldberg to her. The actress even shared that she wouldn't want the part if Sally was written as a typical rom-com lead. She's just this perfect combination of horrific narcissism, Goldberg shared with LA Times. She's a messy character and she's not one thing. And I really appreciated that they'd done that. And in season three, Sarah expects Sally to develop, and she wants her to grow darker. And what kind of development do you expect from this character? Share in the comments below while we're moving on to Sarah's personal life, which we know very little about. Goldberg is a very private person. She doesn't share any details about her personal life, and it looks like she doesn't even have any social media accounts. A rare thing for today, huh? But if she wants to keep all the details about her life under wraps, so be it. The most important thing for us is to keep seeing her in new roles because she's such a talented actress. Just like her co-star and on-screen friend, Darcy Carden as Natalie. In real life, Darcy is just as enthusiastic as her character. And in The Good Place, she also played a very enthusiastic lady, so it's easy to assume that it's part of her nature in real life, too. Darcy Carden once recalled that she was very into theater when she was at college, and sometimes she would get a bit too involved. One of our professors was giving direction and being so excited about what she was saying, I guess I was giving her vocal affirmation, the actress shared. So for everything her professor would say, she'd be like, uh-huh, yeah. And at some point, the professor turned to her and said, Darcy, shut the hell up. That feels very Natalie to me, Carden explained. Isn't that funny? When Darcy isn't on the set, she enjoys spending time with her husband, producer Jason Grant Carden. They met while visiting Disneyland with their mutual friends, and they've been married for over 10 years now. Darcy and Jason now live in Los Angeles with their pit bull, Penny. How sweet. Anthony Kerrigan as NoHo Hank An upbeat yet naive Chechen gangster, this guy became a favorite for many fans of Barry. So it's hard to believe that initially, Hank was supposed to die right in the pilot episode. But Anthony Kerrigan liked his character so much that he persuaded Bill Hader to let him live. I'm really happy we kept the ball rolling and that Hank did not die, the actor commented to Thrillist. Like all of us, Kerrigan loves his character for who he is and how different he is from other gangsters. I feel like a lot of people who are involved in crime are in it for themselves and are in it to make their name and really rise above everyone else, he said. Hank doesn't want to do that. He wants to keep his friends around. He wants that sense of camaraderie. Kerrigan is no usual dude in real life either. He's not just bald. He doesn't have any hair on his body, even his eyelashes and eyebrows are missing due to an autoimmune condition. And because of his appearance, he's usually typecast as a villain. But in real life, Anthony's a charming guy. He's married to professional chess player Gia Olimp, and they look very happy together. Now let's move on to another Chechen gangster, Glenn Fleschler as Goran Pazar. Just like his co-star Anthony Kerrigan, this man is entirely different from the mobster he played in the first season of Barry. Although Fleschler is also quite experienced at playing villains, his true detective performance as the first season serial killer, Spaghetti Monster, was especially memorable. I've played a lot of scary people in my life. 
I'm always being told I'm so scary, the actor commented to Vulture, but he's not that scary in real life. The on-screen villain is happily married and has a kid. His wife, Jocelyn, is involved in creating acting programs for children. So although she's not a famous actress herself, Glenn and Jocelyn seem to be on the same page in their careers. Henry Winkler as Gene Cosano Here's another fan-favorite character, and the actor whose performance was probably praised the most out of the entire cast of Barry. This guy has the most extensive career out of all the actors in the series. Henry Winkler became famous back in the 70s for playing Fonzie in the sitcom Happy Days. Ever since then, he's been in dozens of TV shows and movies, showing off his comedic talent. And now, he's playing Barry's mentor. Winkler loved his collaboration with Bill Hader because it was so effortless. Working with Bill is like working on a lake at 5 in the afternoon with not a ripple when you're water skiing and there's nothing in your way, the actor explained. Sounds nice, right? Winkler's personal life is also going quite smoothly. He's been married to his wife, Stacy, for more than 40 years. They have two kids together and their younger son is also in show business. His name is Max Winkler, and he's best known for directing the movie Ceremony, starring Uma Thurman. Share in the comments below if you've seen it. Bill Hader as Barry This guy's been around for quite a while. You can see Hader in Paul, Men in Black 3, as well as in It Chapter 2. And now you can watch him playing the titular role in Barry, as well as directing and writing some of its episodes. Due to its dark yet funny nature, the series was a risky thing to tackle. For example, during the pilot episode screening, Hader's friends told him that it was crazy to do anything like it. I just don't think it was what anyone expected, Hader said about some of the things featured in the first episode. But despite it all, Bill went further with his plans for the series, and now we can see the result. The show became successful and redefined the actor's career. And these days, he hopes to keep telling his character's story for as long as the viewers and HBO will let him do it. Every episode is different. Every scene is different. Every script is different, Hader said about the series, and it's hilarious. That high is why I like making this stuff. And while we're looking forward to the news about the third season that has halted production due to the pandemic, let's see how Bill's doing in real life. He was married to writer and director Maggie Carey, and they have three daughters. After 11 years together, they got divorced but remained friends. Later, Hader was spotted dating actress Rachel Bilson, but last year they ended their relationship. These days, he seems to be single and focusing on his career. Whatever makes him happy, right? Paula Newsome as Detective Janice Moss Too bad we probably won't get to see her anymore in the series. What do you think really happened to Detective Moss? Are you shocked that Barry killed her? Share in the comments! Anyway, Paula Newsome enjoyed playing Janice. What is beautiful about this role is that she is a full-fledged, three-dimensional person. She's fierce, she's funny, and she's fragile, the actress shared. Although Newsom appeared in multiple TV shows before Barry, including Bones, Grey's Anatomy, Castle, and many others, this series became a breakthrough for her because people finally started recognizing her. In an interview, she revealed that she started getting more offers. So we hope that soon we're going to see more of her in major roles on the small and big screens. And possibly as Paula becomes more famous, we'll get to know more about her personal life as now we know squat about it. If you liked this video, watch another one we made about the cast of the Expanse series and stay awesome!